E-mini S&Ps end the session hovering just north of 4,300, basically on a range of 4,284 up to 4,325. The market unable to exceed and push higher into the close, did back off a little bit, but again, ending above that key level 4,300. Taking a step back, it's been quite a move higher for equities, not just over the past week or the past few weeks, but now we've eclipsed the 20% correction, reversal, higher, whatever you want to call it, since October of 2022. So up 20%, that's a key move that many economists look for when they're talking about equities being in bull markets. The 20% level seems to ring the bell. Uh, clearly a lot going on in the world right now. Equities have been trending higher with mixed reactions coming from the Treasury market, mixed expectations about what the Fed may or may not do in the coming weeks, and clearly, equities being uh, the one standout here that continue to move higher, again, ending today north of 4,300 in the E-mini S&Ps. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, volatility has been trending lower as equities have been moving higher. That's a historical relationship. But volatility is starting to get down to those uber lows, uh, not quite on the all-time lows in the VIX index, but getting very close to it, at least close enough where you start scratching your head as there still remains a lot of uncertainty out there, whether you're talking about central bank risk, a lot of uncertainty, whether you're talking about economic risks, geopolitical risks, uh, there's a lot happening out there and volatility being at these uber lows, certainly uh, a bit of a surprise, despite the fact that we are seeing equities rally. Lastly, let's talk about what we have next week and it is a full pack week, full of economic data, Fed meetings, uh, the keys that we're going to be looking at next week come in the inflation category. We get CPI and PPI ahead of the FOMC meeting. We also get retail sales. So some market movers there. Then we come to the Fed meeting on Wednesday. That's really going to be uh, the, the target, the what everyone's looking at for next week. And right now, market pricing in about 30% odds that the Fed raises rates 25 basis points. And we've heard a lot of debating back and forth, uh, not only amongst economists, but amongst Fed speakers about the need to raise and the need to pause. So there is going to be some clearly uh, some lines drawn in the sand after Wednesday. And really the focus after the Fed announcement and then the Fed statement comes out will be coming from the Fed chair himself when he gives his presser. And the, we get the uh, expectations and forward guidance from some of the Fed numbers that will also be read into pretty deeply. But clearly that will be the highlight of the week. So we mean the S&Ps end the week higher and the day higher ahead of a full calendar next week, including CPI, PPI, retail sales, and FOMC.